Smart people dare to be different. Do you own the hotel? Yes, we do. You and your husband? Me and my husband. Was it your idea or his idea? Actually, I think, you know, the way we do things, it just evolves, you know. Uh, we started the one in Elmina we just, because we had bought this plot for our own, you know, vacation home. Oh, okay. And we went somewhere to, uh, for, we, we took some staff from uh, my husband's business to go and eat. And we were treated so poorly okay. that we said, ah, and it was a beach place too. So mm. why don't we just turn this into a little place that we could bring, you know, our uh, employees, management staff and all of this. So we started with 15 rooms, oh. 15 rooms in 1994. Okay. And then as yeah, the years, Elmina. in Elmina, okay. as the years went by, we added on. Mm. And then this is the first place, uh, it was a flat that when we moved to Ghana, this is the first place we bought. And, you know, I keep telling people, we took an equity loan on our house in the U.S. Okay. You know, when you have a house, you, yeah. paid, you can take an equity exactly, loan and use yeah. it as a collateral and yeah. all of that. And bought a flat here. Okay. And we lived here and we had all our businesses in that one flat. Mm. And then as the time went on, you know, the businesses grew. Yeah. So we moved out. Yeah. And we had a flat there. So we decided, I think there was a... a homecoming or something, whether it was Panafest, mm. that they were coming to Accra. So we decided we would finish this building, just put 10 rooms, oh, okay. 10 rooms. And we will, so we went to the embassy, American embassy. They were going to do some program, I've forgotten. So we worked with them, bring the people here. So they brought, they took the 10 rooms, not even completely finished. Okay. So we did that for some time. Then we got another opportunity. This, uh, the latter day saints yes. people, yes, they moved in next door, mm. they wanted a place for 20 people, yeah, for a year. Oh, okay. so we got that, but we had to give them really good, good rate, yeah. rate, oh, rate. Okay. but we did because we looked at the ballpark figure and mm. we said, mm, if we could get this uninterrupted, you yes. know, uh, occupancy, mm. then in the long run, it would be better. Exactly. So we took them on board, you know, they stayed here for about a year and a half. Mm. And so we took that to the bank and we said, look, we're going to get this bulk money from them. Mm. So give us a loan because our old, our customers then were coming. We used to have just maybe five or six people coming in. Now we couldn't find a place for them, <laughs> you know, our loyal customers. And so they had faith in us. They gave us a loan. Okay. So we expanded both here and Elmina. Oh. Yeah. So that's what we've been. And over the years, every time we add a little bit on. So okay. Elmina is now 17 years old. How many rooms? Elmina, we've got about 65 now. Ooh, yeah. and here? Here we've got 34, 35 rooms. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's so growing. It's growing. And it's still, you know, we, we still want it to grow maybe to about 50. But we are not in a rush. This is 10 years, you know. And it's not like we do something at once we yeah. never do that and this is what it's i keep process. Yeah, telling people that you can start small yes. and build on it's not like we started with you know 50 rooms or 100 rooms and everything must be there before no we started and then we turn it around we let we we start whether we are finished or not it's really, just like start, building yeah. a house yeah you live in one corner. And start fixing yeah, things. Yeah. Start fixing things. You don't wait till the I whole, know. yeah. So that's what we do, even with our businesses. Mm. So it's all about thinking properly, planning properly, mm -hmm. and before the implementation. Yeah, you think, you plan, you know, I mean, you plan it, you know, and then you execute it well. Yeah. yeah that's what. Oh, we're getting it for free. Mm -hmm. She's going to take us around the hotel for you to see what she's got here. So you can always pass by to have lunch, dinner, yes. or just relax. It's a very cozy place. I love the green outside.
cater to what they want. Okay. So, but I just saw some people coming out of the conference room, but they are not here. Is there any other restaurant? Okay. Some people eating over there. Wow, you are so organized. <laughs> <laughs> well, my people. They do tell all. me, what is the secret of this nice figure? You eat well, I know. So tell us. We also want to know. Well, thank you for that. Well, I exercise. Oh, okay. I, I exercise a lot. I walk. Okay. And then I do stationary bike. Okay. So uh, every day, oh, every day when I'm feeling well, I exercise. Okay. So it's my normal routine. I've heard you talk about health. So tell us about health. What do we have to eat? What do we have to do to keep healthy? Oh, you know now with the internet and all that, I think yeah. people should learn to Google and find out stuff. Okay. But for me, I believe in breakfast. You know. Okay. So my husband and I we eat breakfast every day. Okay. And mostly it's fruits. You know, a little bit of cereal. Yeah. You know, whether it's cocoa, millet, mm. or uh, uh, cereal. I mean, cornflakes or yes, whatever. Yes, yes. We have that. And then you know maybe a cup of green tea, mm. and um, that's it for breakfast. Then in the afternoon we eat lunch. Okay. Okay. So the afternoon it's our main meal. Okay. Then uh, and we eat lots of vegetables. Every meal we have vegetables to go mm. with it. Mm. And then you know the protein and the carbohydrates. Oh, he's also very. He looks smart. He he works out. Yeah. He exercises a lot. Then in the evening we have very light supper. Okay. We don't eat a lot. Okay. In the evening, if we are going out to dinner anywhere in the evening, then we eat light. In the okay. Afternoon. Okay. So we are very conscious of what you take in. And then we exercise. Okay. Practically, that's what it is. Ooh. We have to learn to exercise. I'm going to exercise to <laughs> you should burn walk. off some fat. Yes. Yes. Oh, you're yeah, not too. <laughs> <laughs> Come and feel cool here. Yeah. If you come, it's like you know, even with a typical room, if we just have um, the I don't know this, <laughs> and most of the things are made here. Yeah, okay, everything is really made here. This is made in Ghana. Somebody in Takwa did that set. Oh, this okay. was made by a uh, uh, furniture manufacturer here. Everything, everything is made. I like well. that place, it's very neat. Yes. Um, well, you know, you, yeah. you can trust it when a woman is in charge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is. The how. workers are cautious. <laughs> you know, I mean, sometimes. I know. And you know, oh, we have the bathrooms. Oh, yeah. This is neat. Yeah. I mean, it's not really you like. Have a pool. Yes. So what is the significance of this? Or well, just to pro project, you know, what we Ghana, have in Ghana. Ghana. So when okay. they come, they want, they know of the Edikra symbol. Yes. So you see a lot of people taking pictures and writing, you know, uh, the meanings uh, down. Okay. So it's good. Yeah. It's good. You've done well. Yeah, thank you. Kudos. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. You've done really well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of our halls, you know, for conference. How many halls do you have in this building? Three, three wow. big ones. They are all big like this. Yes, even bigger. Upstairs, it's even bigger. Okay. Yeah. Then the capacity. Of this each. one will take a hundred for dinner, like okay. if you have round tables. Yes. But for conferences and stuff, you can actually put two hundred here. Oh, okay. Yeah. You okay. Put two hundred here. Oh, this so is interesting. Look at this. You see. Is that tea, was it tea, done here? Done in Ghana. This is done in Ghana. I see teak wood and all that. It's lovely. I love wood. I love you know wood nicely done. Yeah. And how long? Because it looks neat. Yeah, this is about this is quite new. It's about a year or so. Oh okay. Since I, I got it, you know. So you can keep your drinks oh, and you can things keep here. things in here. But we like it. This is just for sure, yeah. yeah. I mean decorative. Yeah. yeah. Decorative. The place, but I love it, it's beautiful. You know, did you see the work they do? Yeah, really nice, really nice. Let's use what we have. Exactly. You see all the greens over here. Yeah, why but the I pool? Had 
the pool is back there. Okay. I had wanted to show you the elephants, but then that's what we got from the trees. But you see, the tables are there, so yeah. we can't really show it. Yeah. So. So we can go and so see who the does pool. a green? We have a gardener. We have a couple of gardeners. And okay. you know, they just that you you want people. Because I'm are, in love with green, you yes, know. Yes, but they And that's my they, color, you can see that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Green is peaceful. Yeah. It's it peaceful. stands for growth. Yeah, and it adds on to yes. you know the environment. You can't just make it all concrete. Exactly. Okay, it's been nice having you on the show. Well, I've enjoyed it too. Oh, and <laughs> we are really going to call upon you again. Okay. I hope you will not let us down. No, I wouldn't. Next no, time I you wouldn't. cook for us. <laughs> cook! <laughs> anyway, we'll you, see about that. You yeah. will try your best. Yes, I'll try. You agree with me that we've enjoyed her, we've been well educated. Look, there's a lot in Ghana. She came back 20 years ago. She is a strategic planner. She's a business administrator, she's a manager, everything, a mother and a wife of a politician for that matter. <laughs> and you know what, she came back and realized there are a lot of opportunities here and she grabbed them. And today she's made it. Her hotel, her, some of her businesses are 10 years old. What are we doing? Do we still have to travel abroad to make it? No. Just keep watching Smart People, we'll bring you the best. Always get the change. Smart people, dare to be different.